Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. Today is the 3rd of January 2022 and we are working on a brand new project. This big canvas and what I had to do was turn it to the side because I simply um, could not manage um, this canvas. I have noticed a, a simple problem, and that is the symbol 9. The symbol six and the symbol five look about the same. So what I had to do, I mean, as far as the color is concerned, um, so what I had to do is take out my magnifying glass to make sure I am putting things in the right place. Also, um, I started with the canvas being turned this way, and then I figured I couldn't, work it like that so I turn it sideways so this is the top and this is the bottom and this is a bottom left hand corner usually I would start with the top, top left hand corner so I totally got confused in my first uh, to do with a big project but we will figure this out so, um, I think I will try and find the number nine. Um, what I have to do is get a little spoon because I, I put these jars too full and they dump like that. Since I am perfectly able to dump uh, the, the drills by myself, I really don't need any help by being, uh, the jars being too full, so I got my little ice cream spoon, and I put some drills out like this, nice and neat. No need to have it dumped all over the place. Right, right. Bring it down a little bit more. Actually, uh, I have a feeling that you can see the drills much better than I can. And now the sun is going to come out and it's going to play peekaboo. So if I close the curtain, the sun goes away. If I open the curtain, um, the sun is here. And it's uh, creating a glare on my diamond painting. Now, let me take a look to see what I am doing. Um, yeah, well, you guess as good as mine. I actually have a light now. When miracles do happen. Hmm. Okay, so this is number nine. It's even harder now that it is sideways. But I uh, did uh, pick out uh, the symbol sixes, and then I noticed that there's also a symbol five. So I was like, I, I definitely have to get in touch with uh, the distributor, the store, and tell them that, um, first of all, it's gray and gray, and gray, as far as symbols go. And these three symbols are very easy to confuse, especially for someone that's not equipped with everything that needs to have. Um, the basics for diamond painting. 
um, they should definitely use different color schemes. Yeah, sometimes I don't speak English. Um, to differentiate. Yeah, that's a six and that's a nine. I mean, mm -hmm. now I'm sure someone that is younger and has better eyes can uh, see it much better. But I'm having a bit of a problem with it. Yes, I know I am very tired, but I think all of us are. Let me try something sometimes. Um, no, that doesn't work. Sometimes it does. Right now it does not. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I see a slight color difference in the sixes and the nines. The six tends to be a little bit uh, shade of a lighter blue. But even the, um, the stickers on the jars, um, look the same as far as color goes. Yeah, let me take out the uh, symbol six and let's see. Yeah, okay. It's definitely a different color that I can see without any um, special magic. So this is symbol six right there. Yeah, that's more of a, a gray than the other gray. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah, folks, there is gray and then there is gray. And that's a symbol five. Now let me take a look at that. What does that look like? That's another gray. This is exactly what I was talking about. If I'm going to do it the lazy way, I think I will have to, uh, yeah. Well, folks, okay. So, some of it, we're going to have to slow down and go nice and slow with it. And then some of it, there are big uh, spaces of color blocking. So, that will um, make it a bit faster. But this is a new project for 2022. And I've been waiting for like a month to start this because uh, holiday... Um, Crafts sort of got uh, in the way. Okay, now over here is five. So it's three different shades of gray. This is what I was uh, talking about. Okay, you're not going to pick up the drills? No? I'm going to have to take out another tray? You're being difficult. Once I get into the rhythm and the hang of this new canvas and decide which is the best way and more comfortable for me to work at it, I'm sure we're going to make quite a progress with it. Okay, that's number five. Yeah, three different shades of gray. This is why last night I was having a bit of a problem and I stopped doing it because after a while I was like going, you know, totally nuts. Like, 
what is this? In the meantime, I'll be was studying. So, and I was sitting here swearing left and right, you know, like, what? Until I did figure out, you know, that what, you know, what the thing is, it's three different colors. And they seem to look the same. Which got me a little bit upset. Um, this is what? This is nine. And I have the symbol R put over here because I was doing that first. And this is the symbol nine. Mm hmm. I see. I see, which is a miracle, since lately I have been so tired, I was having a problem. Okay, a multiplacer turned into a single placer. No, 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 dear. Now let's straighten up here. Yeah, here we go. Absolutely beautiful. I love the canvas. I love the theme of the picture. I'm definitely a nature-oriented person. So I was really looking forward to doing this canvas. And I think we're going to enjoy it very much. Uh, when I start a new canvas, I sort of have to settle down a bit, you know, and um, concentrate on a new project. But as usual, I'm sure many of you agree with me, we always have more than one project going. And let me tell you, I got the um, Valentine's Day canvas. Oh, it's so cute. Seriously. Yeah, just, just yell if you see me putting it in the wrong place. Yeah. Okay, that's definitely a nine right there. Okie doke. Crooked, I know, I know, I know. Don't worry, I'll straighten it out. Come on, guys. You're looking messy. We don't like messy. Um, these are square drills. Um, I forgot the size somewhere. I'm sure it's here. It's 70 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So definitely big. In the meantime, I put dinner in the oven because hubby is working day shift. That's fine. If you go on a table and you turn over. Um, making some baked chicken, baked potato, um, seasoned grilled mixed vegetables. So we're finished with all the holiday cooking, the baking, and everything else. Actually, by this time, I'm, I'm happy it's over. Although this year I did not make such a big, um, I did not put myself through the ringer this year. Um, I planned everything ahead and I was like, we'll do the best. I think every year I put the emphasis on the wrong thing as far as the holidays were concerned. So this year I put the emphasis on enjoying the holidays rather than um, 
worrying so much about, you know, is the ha house totally spotless and sterile? No, it isn't. Definitely clean because I cleaned up the bottom rugs, you know, drapes, everything. I did that because we had mild weather, unfortunately no snow. I mean, if the one time of the year that you wish to have snow is definitely at the holiday time, but we did not. We got a rather unusual warm weather. I mean, really. I think it was like 16 degrees, 16, yeah, plus centigrade. And I'm like, no, that's supposed to be spring. Now it is January and December. We're supposed to have like, you know, minus and snow. No, we had a heat wave. I was like, you know, I was going to hubby. Okay, so shall we go swimming? I mean, 16 degrees centigrade is swimming weather. Some people, they take a dip, but they had no ice on the lake. Usually they go, you know, ice, ice, uh, dip in the ice water. There was no ice on the, on the lake. Um, I think the water temperature was like 6 centigrade in winter. And they were complaining that the water is too warm. Actually, the water was warmer than the outside uh, temperature. Now, what the heck is that uh, symbol over there? Okay, I see. And that's the symbol over there. That's, that's easy to make out. It's this 9, 6, and 5 that I'm having issue with at the moment. So instead of boring you with it, I will do whatever I can. And then I will, um, the ones I do not see, I will do it off camera. Um, but I did want to show you that, yes, well, I mean, you know, we've been together for a year now and we have solved some issues that were like, I don't believe it. Well, at least the customs left, uh, I mean, painting intact. This is from a store in Hungary. And they're fantastic. Like, you order something, they deliver the next day, unless you order it, you know, on the weekend, because stores are not open. Yep, congratulations. As soon as I start my video, Yep. Haven't seen, haven't heard the sirens this year yet. Okay. So, I see a block that I cleared out last night. I was uh, searching for the sixes. So, I figured if I get one of the difficult symbols out of the way, then the other ones would be easier to deal with. And from what I can see, there is a block of them right here. I did put a regular thumbnail of this big canvas up on the, um, on the page and on Facebook because I think it's absolutely beautiful and you're not able to see the beauty of it yet. We are just beginning, beginning, folks, you know. It takes a while. I think once we get the, one of the animals, one of the deers in the middle, then the canvas will start to come to life. That's my opinion, that once you get one of the main characters or the main object um, or if there is a person or something like that and you get the eyes and the face and then um, the canvas does seem to come to life in my opinion it 
There's the church bells ringing. Day and night. Yes, folks, in the middle of the night. The ding dong ding. I would suggest not to do it in the middle of the night, but uh, it's a clock. And it goes automatically. So there is no um, person that's in the bell tower ringing the bells. It goes automatically. I think it's a Swiss clock. And um, during Christmas, it was playing uh, Christmas carols. This is very nice. It plays music five minutes before the hour. And then on the hour, it uh, plays the bell, the regular, you know, church bell. Actually, I liked the sound of the church bell the old fashioned way, but uh, majority of the churches do not use that anymore. They use the automatic electric clockwork. Now, if there is a storm or something, then they, you know it goes crazy and it goes ding dong ding, and they have to go and reset it. And it's still set for daylight saving time. There was some issue and some conversation about the daylight saving time in the European Union, but from from what I can see, they have kept um, daylight saving time. So I guess we're still going to spring forward and fall back. Um, people have some issues adjusting to um, setting the clocks forward and setting the clocks back. And it does um, create havoc with um, the children and the animals because they can't tell time. I don't know. I, I, I forgot about the study that they have made. Does it really save energy? Um, I think uh, there were some studies made that yes, it does save a certain amount of energy. But then, like, um, the public lighting, you know, the streets and stuff like that, it goes uh, whether there is sunlight or not. So that's automatic also. Okay, I'm going to double check this. Make sure we're heading in the right direction. Okay. I will show you. This is symbol five. This is symbol nine over here. See what I was talking about? That's five over there. And I will have to double check quite a few times. So that will slow us down a little bit. But like I said, I make my own schedule, but this was scheduled to start in 2022 and we did it. So rather happy about that. Because we had uh, one a project over here that I kept on putting on the side until um, until I um, finished the holiday ones and then it got finished in the last minute and I was like oh, yes wonderful okay Brunei right there move over guys 
I'm not worried about them being that straight because when I put the ones next to it, okay, these are five over there. When I put the ones next to it, they will straighten out. We learn that from experience that we don't have to be so uptight. That's an H. Uh, that's a symbol nine there, and another one there, and you are messy here, there we go, and that's another symbol nine, that's H, 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 okay, there's a row right there, okay. See what I mean? Once I become accustomed to the new um, canvas, then we're going to go along just fine. From what I can see, we're going to have a few uh, difficult spots and we're going to have a few work can really catch up because we're going to have color blocking, you know, with the multiplicer. Things are starting to come back to life. School's open today. Everybody went back to work after the long holiday. How was your winter holiday? you get a chance to go anywhere? I did plan to go, but then some family members had over their plans and they decided to honor me with their presence. Which means they did not get a Christmas present. Because I told them their Christmas present went for the down payment that I had planned for a Christmas vacation. Okay, you're upside down. There you go. Yes, it did make me angry. I figured for once I can, you know, do without all the cooking and baking and cleaning and everything and just go away for the holidays and just thoroughly enjoy it. Well, it didn't work out that way. But since I was make sure that my pantry and freezer are filled up, I had no problem whipping together a holiday meal. Everything was cleaned, so just put fresh sheets in the guest room and smile through my grinning teeth. Like, it's so nice of you to drop by. Hmm. Don't do it again. Yep, I actually told them that. may sound mean, but I don't think that you would be very much nicer either if you plan to go away for a holiday and you have to change your plans. Like, as soon as possible. Okay, what is this over here? I see a symbol. Yeah, mm-hmm.
I'm sure I saw it, but I am not going to search for it. Because... Um, okay. There we go. Three. Yes. Yes. Five, four, two, three. Well, at least that's a purple. Let's take out my spoon. You remember when we were keeping up um, this canvas and we were worried that um, it will not fit. Wait a minute. It will not fit into the containers and then the containers got too full. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our um, ice cream spoon to take out some drills and that way I don't spill it all over the place. And symbol three right there. Mm -hmm. And that's a symbol five over there. This is sort of a purple color. Sort of. Ask me because I still don't know the name and names of the colors. Usually I make up my own name. Symbol five, symbol five, okay, symbol three. Right there. That's a five. Okay, so this is going to work just fine. Actually, sometimes we like to do a challenging uh, canvas after all the little ones we've been doing the past couple of weeks. And another one there. So, thank you very much for spending time with me today on this 3rd of January of the new year 2022 with our brand new canvas, our brand new project, the first one for this year. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Please hit the like and the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Bye for now.